Hey everyone, thanks for checking out Armatist Reviews. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Field Optics Research Pro Max Ultra FT6841C tripod. Whew. Took a lot of takes. <laughs> Today I'm going to be reviewing the Core Essentials Tactical Breakdown. This has an adjustable key breaker. This can raise up or come down. So first, I want to thank Team POI for lending this uh, Field Optics Research tripod to me. Um, I'm working with, in collaboration with Team POI to do reviews on products that I probably wouldn't normally have access to, wouldn't be able to get my hands on. Um, so they just lent this to me to do a review. I did not buy this. It was not given to me. It was lent to me. I am returning this when I'm done. Um, but thanks Team POI for working with me to do this review. Okay, so as it sits, this is uh, kind of in a, a transport configuration. Um, these legs are actually kind of reverse or inverted from where it would normally be if the tripod was fully deployed. So all you gotta do is just bring this up. That was one click, so now it's locked. Oops. Right. Try and do this without hitting myself. All right. So those those are locked. Right. So you could have this kind of on the ground like this, flat, and uh, use the tripod that way. Um, and then you can also go down one more click. And you do have to kind of take tension off the locks in order to unlock them. Um, which is kind of nice because it's not going to come unlocked accidentally. But sometimes if you don't think about it, it, it won't come unlocked. You have to kind of release tension and then you unlock it and move it just fine. Okay, so there's uh, the second position, kind of the middle position. Then... Then again like that. Then you have this collar here, right, which if you loosen it, allows that center post Go up and down to the height you want. And you just turn that nice and tight. And then you can <laughs> deploy these legs. So it'd normally be easier, but I'm kind of in a somewhat confined space, so I'm just trying not to knock stuff over. I mean, these legs go pretty long. So yeah, you can see it can get pretty tall. There we go. It's a little better, kind of out of the way. All right, so let's go over some of the features of this tripod. As I said in the intro, this is the Field Optics Research Pro Max Ultra model number FT-6841C, as in Charlie. So the MSRP on the tripod is about $350 from Field Optics Research directly. Um, that does not include this nifty little uh, ball head. Sorry. Um, this is the FBH-44D. And uh, like I said, that is not included in that $350 price. This is about $140 MSRP. So this is a tripod, uh, in case you didn't figure that out, which means that it can be used for lots of different things. Photography. Uh, digiscoping to record your shots or record a uh, game um, like through a phone scope uh, adapter um, through you can put a rifle on here for competitions or hunting it, it can it's very sturdy um, it can handle the weight of a firearm you can make the legs out make it a little more uh, sturdy um, by extending those legs if you need to uh, I use this as a spotting scope uh, tripod stand um, when I was out shooting and it was very windy that day and it barely moved. It was great. Whereas I have a cheaper uh, tripod that I use for like my camera, it's not very sturdy. It scares me sometimes. So some of you may be noticing this uh, little blue line here and this, this grip, if you can see that. Um, glad you asked. So this actually unscrews and set this down. can turn into a uh, little walking stick, um, like a monopod, if you wanted to use that as like some kind of brace to, to fire. 
uh, your your rifle. Um, it's kind of why it has a little grip here, so you can you can use it to, to mount up with a gun or to walk with. It's really nice. They do have another model where two legs come off, so you can have like two hiking sticks. Um, I will put that in the video. What model that is, I can't remember off the top of my head. I apologize. Um, but this one, this particular model, just has the one that comes off, and that is indicated by that blue ring on there. Okay, so this might look a little goofy. I shortened it just for ease of use and so I can move it around and show you in twirling, apparently. So um, it does have 32 millimeter uh, diameter legs that have eight layers of carbon fiber um, for lightweight use. So that they're, it's very lightweight. I mean, this hardly weighs anything, honestly. Um, it's rigid, strength has a lot of strength to it. Like it's, it's really, seems like really high quality, really strong uh, leg here. And as you probably saw earlier, there are three leg segments, so you can really shorten it or extend it pretty much as, as long or as short as you need to. Um, the feet do come off, and uh, you can replace those with spikes, uh, things like that. So the lowest that you can get the tripod to the ground and still use it is about five inches. According to the specs on their website, the legs can go to about 68.6 inches tall. Um, the tripod weighs about four, 4.1 pounds. Um, it holds uh, 77 uh, pound weight capacity. Um, when it's folded up, it folds to about 23 inches. And it does have a weight hook right here. If you desire that, it is there. And in case you didn't know support, you can lock and unlock those uh, hinges, those locks there with one hand. So that's nice. And if you're the type of person that's going to use these as walking sticks, if you feel so inclined to carry them, they do actually have attachments that will screw into the top of this leg when it's detached from the tripod to give you kind of a little little grips to hold onto, little straps and all the crazy doodads. So that's pretty cool if you're wanting to use that. Uh, they do have that available. As you can see, I have a uh, Vortex spotting scope on top of the tripod. Um, this is what I used when I was shooting and it was very windy, and I didn't have to worry about this moving at all, even with a pretty good winds. Um, so it's it's pretty good, good setup. If there are really bad winds, you do have that uh, weight hook at the bottom. That's probably really loud, sorry. Um, we do have that weight hook at the bottom. You can put a little sandbag or whatever it is you have on there. To weigh it down a little bit more if you need to, but this is pretty decent, pretty pretty solid um, without it. Honestly, guys, I'm not a huge tripod person. Um, like I said, I have a cheap one for my camera that I really need to upgrade. Um, I don't have anything like this. It's the first time I've ever encountered. It's the first time I've ever done anything with a good, high quality, somewhat pricey tripod like this before. Um, I've heard of people talk about tripods and they're you know five, six hundred dollars, whatever it may be. It's just ridiculous to me. I don't I don't understand the appeal. But from the research I've, I've done and people I've talked to, the field optics research uh, tripods are just as high quality and has all of those features of the five, six hundred dollar tripods, but with a three hundred and fifty dollar price. Um, so that's pretty cool. Obviously, like I said, I'm new to these tripods. I don't know with a ton of experience if that's true or not, but I can tell you that if I were to buy a, an expensive tripod, I would have no problems buying this one. And that's not because it was lent to me or anything like that. It's because I can tell it's a good quality tripod that doesn't cost five, six hundred bucks. So anyway, I hope that information was helpful to you guys. Like I said, I'm kind of new to this tripod game of this this quality of this caliber. Um, but if I were buying something uh, like this, I would be seriously considering uh, one of their tripods because from everything I've seen, good quality, good price. So. Thanks again to Team POI for lending this to me to do a review. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have access to this to do the review. So go check them out. Put links down in the description below. Um, thank you again. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want to see future videos, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do giveaways. Um, and uh, I really try to interact with my community. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, take care. Oh, my God.